Now then people, it's Charlie and welcome back to Bite Size Leads on the Chatting Leads YouTube channel. Hope everyone's doing all right today. So then guys, Bite Size Leads, all the latest goings on in the wonderful world of Leeds United. But just before we do get into it, please smash the like button, please subscribe and let's get into it guys. So then guys, first up today on Bite Size Leads, it's... um. The story that's kind of broke over the last 24 hours, um, and that is that Leeds United are reportedly in talks um, with FC Metz's attacking midfielder, Farid Boulaya, um, the Algerian international. Um, now, I'll be completely honest, until this sort of news broke about us in talks with him, I hadn't really heard his name in terms of him being linked with Leeds. Um, but from what I'm hearing and from what I'm seeing, um, it's all incredibly positive and it's really good to see. Um, I've seen some clips of him on YouTube and on Twitter and he does look the real deal. Um, um, and I hope Arta can persuade him um, to join us because apparently there are several teams from around Europe who are interested in him as well. Um, I think he had a goal contribution of about 14 goals, including goals and assists um, in the French League last season, which is really good. Um, and as I say, you know, he does look at the top draw and he looks like the midfielder that Leeds have been searching for. And, you know, there's quite a lot of talk at the minute about whether it should be Click Rodrigo, Dallas Rodrigo, Dallas and Click. Um, but I think if we sign this guy, I think he can play out on wing as well, which would be interesting. Um, but in terms of the attacking midfield role, I think it could provide some really good competition in that area. Um, and I can only see that as a positive. So, yeah, hopefully Arta um, can get this deal done. And at four and a half million as well, that would be an absolute steal. So then, guys, next up is a certain Dan James. Um, now, Dan James always seems to crop up on Leeds United's radar um, ever since the collapse of that deal that we tried to make with Swansea a few years back. Um, but, you know, now he's at Scum um, and he's kind of in and out of their team at the minute and um, Leeds always just seem to get linked with him. But there are a few stories going about. Apparently, Leeds are going to put a bid in at some point this week. Um Personally, I don't see this happening um, and I'm not really bothered whether we sign him or not. Um, I think Jack Harrison and Rafinha are both better. Um, for me, he's not even in their league. Um, but if we signed him, I could only see him as maybe competition or someone to come in if either of those are injured, to kind of like a Helder Costa. Um, but as I covered in the last video, Costa may leave this summer, so maybe Dan James could come in for him. Um, but personally, I don't see this deal happening. Um, I think he may still be part of Ole Gunnar Solskjaer's plans for Man United this season. Um, and yeah, as I said, I ain't really asked. I just thought I'd cover it because, you know, Dan James, um, Bielsa just seems to be really, really into him. Um, and that's quite clear to see. But in terms of the logistics, the the fee, the wages, and etc. I I just don't think it'll happen. Um, and quite frankly, as I've said a few times, I don't really care. Um, he's a scummer now, so let's just keep him at that side of the Pennines. So then, guys, next up is a player that we have spoke about quite a few times on Bite Size Leads, and that is Javi Gallen uh, from Huesca in Spain. Um, now, obviously. Since we signed Firpo, I didn't think we would go in for a new left back again. Um, I know Alioski looks set to leave, um, but I thought with the signing of Firpo, I think you know we've got players that can adapt and play at left back, you know, such as Dallas and and people like that. But it may make sense for Leeds to actually go out and get another one um, as a healthy backup for him. Um, and Javi Gallen is apparently that man that Leeds want as a backup for Firpo. Um, I have said in a previous upload, you know, he does look a really good player as well. 
I think we all know that Firpo is going to be the first choice left back now. Um, but maybe he could do with some healthy competition because, you know, the Bielsa is not just going to throw him in if he feels he isn't ready or if he feels he's not up to standard. Um, so I think Javi Gallen would be the perfect player to come in to provide that competition and keep Firpo on his toes a little. Um, so, yeah, Javi Gallen, I would welcome him um, with open arms. As I have said, he looks really good defensively and going forward as well, which I think he needs to be in a Bielsa side. Um, I would still want Firpo at first choice, but Javi Gallen would be a great backup. Finally, guys, just to summarise this video um i just thought i'd talk about the fact you know that I, I just can't believe it's been a year since we got promoted and a year since we got the um guard of honor at derby um you know from what i can remember the celebrations looked absolutely mad at ellen road and millennium square i myself was actually in tenerife on holiday um i'd actually arrived there on the night that West Brom got beat by Huddersfield and um, so for that kind of whole week I kind of missed out on those celebrations and um, it gets to me even to this day because I would have loved to have been in and amongst it down at Ellen Road and Millennium Square and you know it just looked absolutely mad and you know 16 years of hurt and pain finally came to an end this time last year and what a relief it was and what a emotional kind of few days it was as well. I think it didn't really sink in until the next day. And I remember I was, you know, as I say, I was on holiday and I was just sat thinking, are we actually up? Like, we're going to be playing in the Premier League because for me, you know, it's the first time I've ever seen it. And it kind of took a while to really sink in and, you know, just look where we've, been since then you know the amazing first season that we've had the players we've brought in the players that we're getting linked with now and the players we're bringing in now who would have thought it a few years ago that would be signing players from barcelona would be signing players from the french league would be breaking us transfer record and stuff like that it's just absolutely crazy beating man city at the etihad i just thought i'd get that in there as well um but yeah i who would have thought it but you know it's happening and it's a great time to be a Leeds fan and I'm so excited for this next season you know this season is going to be a test you know all that second season syndrome and everything like that but I don't think that'll affect Leeds one bit I think we can push even higher and get to the Europa Conference or even the proper Europa League um, but yeah I think the the sky is definitely the limit with this Leeds United team um, and hopefully we go from strength to strength this season. So, guys, that brings us to the end of this episode of Bite Size Leads. I really hope that you've all enjoyed it. As I said at the beginning, please smash the like button. Please subscribe as well. We're nearly at 300, guys. That's the next goal that I'm working towards at the minute. So if you could do me a solid, please hit that subscribe button. It's free and it only takes a second to do. And, yeah, I'll see you in the next upload, guys. Have a good evening. Thank you.